Hey there, Sagittarius. <coughs> Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a great holiday. Um, this is your January 2017 general um, first two weeks of the month that kind of general period of time forecast okay now I was shuffling before I turned the camera on a bit <clears throat> sort of um, pondering meditating ruminating on you guys, your sign. And temperance popped out. So, and I do remember from last month that there was a theme of needing to somewhat pace yourself, take your time with something. You are feeling very enthusiastic about something. Um, you know, wanting to get it done, right? Wanting to be on it action action progress development um but there you know there was sort of a caution to take your time to pace yourself um and so it seems that that message is relaying over into this month as well and here popped out the five of cups so we'll get to that energy and let's just make sure we are recording. Excellent. So we will be doing the Celtic cross today. Same as last month. Um, in the same order. Okay. So I'm just going to shuffle it just a bit more. Okay. There we go. So right here, we're going to have your far past, your distant past. The card following that is going to be your recent past. The card following that is going to be your current state, your current situation. The card following that is going to be the help or hinder card, sort of the advice card, as I like to call it. Um, the card following that is going to be your near future. The card following your future is going to be your hopes or your fears. And, or and or <laughs> your hopes or your fears. And the final card at the end of the deck here, at the, sorry, at the end of the spread is going to be the final outcome. Then we're going to be crowning the reading up top with three cards. The first being the energy that you really stepped into that helped lead you to the state that you're in now. Following that is the environmental energies card. So the environmental energies that surround you as you move forward through this month. And the final card up here crowning the reading is going to be the most likely potential outcome. I like to look at that card as sort of the uh, energetic pathway that you're moving through and towards given these other energies at bay. So without further ado, let us begin. Gonna give it one last shuffle. Okay. Distant past, recent past. Current state. Um, the help or hinder advice card. Near future. Um, hopes and or fears. And the final outcome. The energy that you stepped into that helped lead you to your current state your environmental energies card and the most likely <clears throat> potential outcome. 
Now let's flip over the deck to get a sense of the theme of the reading. Okay. Which is the Seven of Swords. Looks like reversed here. And beneath that is the Ten of Swords. Okay. So we'll hold that like that. And let's take a look here. Let me first just get a sense for the elemental aspects of the spread, seeing what elements are present, most prominent, it seems. Um, and first and foremost, let's look at the major arcana that you have. You have the emperor in your distant past, and you have the lovers in your um, in your final potential outcome here. So you have two major arcana sort of bracketing the spread, okay? Stretching from your distant past to your coming future. And we had this five of cups pop out, right? This is looking at this card it's a well, it's a water card so it has to do with your emotions um right, the emotional satisfaction that you're facing and it's right up top here above the lovers so i'm getting that right there could be sort of a and it is Mercury retrograde, right? I'm filming this during Mercury retrograde on the 4th of January. So there could be some sort of return, right? Um, of some sort, you know, a, a mental return to an emotionally dissatisfying situation or... Um, event that occurred in the past and i'm getting that right partly because you ha you do have the three of swords in your recent past okay but it is in reverse which is good right i am happy to see that right um it's it's good that it's in reverse because and that it's in your past because it's something that you it seems you have gotten over right in some shape or form okay but there is still sort of a remembrance of it a reminder of it a return to it in some shape or form okay there is an emotionalism okay so Elementally, aside from the major arcana, you have a significant, significant um, show of swords. You have three of swords in your recent past. You have the daughter of swords as your hopes or fears. You have the Four of Swords, sort of in the central crowning position, right, for your environmental energies, right up top. And you have these two Swords cards here, which are, oh my gosh, and right below that, you have the Mother of Swords, okay? There is a serious um, Swords theme right that is in a way shaping the reading here okay so swords are the element of air they signify our intellectual um thinking our logical reasoning decision making our sense of clarity and judgment um and action on that judgment decisions right but it most of all is the um mental side of things the um the thinking right that goes on the analysis so there is 
heavy analytical energy, one that is focused on the inner workings of our mind. Okay. And there could be somewhat of an inwards um, approach, an in, a turning of it, a turning inwards kind of energy to this period of time. I'm getting that especially with this Five of Cups. Okay. So before we get to these cards here, let's look further, right? So you have the Swords element at play and rather significantly. You then have two Pentacles cards. Oh, no, sorry, three Pentacles cards. You have the Daughter of Pentacles in the energy that you stepped into, right? That helped lead you to your current state. You then have the uh, Nine of Pentacles in your advice position for the energy to step into as you move forward. And you have the Mother of Pentacles as your near future. Okay. So that is really significant of the tangible side of things, the tangible world that you contribute to, right? Your financial success or financial matters, your your job, right? Your career, projects that you that you work towards in a systematic way tangible efforts, those that you reap rewards from, right? So there is a sort of concern with that as well. And I'm seeing, right, that as sort of the replacement of the past energy, right, that you have moved on from, of the swords, perhaps the heartbreak, right? The... Um, And the sorrow even, right, has been replaced with a strong earth element of focusing on career in a very enchanting way, in a very positive, optimistic way, right? Starting anew, starting fresh. You have the Ace of Wands here, right, as well, that was led into right from the daughter of pentacles so there was really action taken towards this revival i'm getting revival right this is sort of like the death of something and this is really the revival of it the revival of um uh, of of your financial or career um, oriented efforts and projects and let me just make sure that we are still recording great so you have two wands cards in in the spread you have the ace of wands and you have the ten of wands which is interesting because you're going from a one which is the lowest number of that element suit in the deck and then you're going straight to a ten okay so there is fast movement taking place in terms of something that you started there's definitely something seems to be coming to a culmination okay your efforts are um you know really coming through but before we digest it let's let's first f go with the flow chronologically of the spread so in your distant past, you have the emperor, okay? The emperor is, um, the emperor is a major arcana. It signifies, um, somewhat of the earth element, right? There is this tree planted, firm, tall, um, it's the emperor, right? Somewhat fertile, firm, okay? And there is this blazing sun. This looks like a sun, right? But it's not really a sun. It, you know, there's no yellow on this card. So there's just this reminder of fire, right? But there's a certain brashness, dryness to this card, even, that I'm getting, okay? But nevertheless, 
it's the emperor, right? He is the master of his domain in a way. He stands tall. And let's consult the pamphlet to see if there... So, it's really symbolic of the father figure, right? Protection, logic, stability. So, <clears throat> There is this state of stability, right? That in a way was yours, okay? And then that led into, that bled into in a way, this situation, or this, this could even be a person, right? With which this is regarded, this three of swords, okay? So now I'm trying to like, what's interesting about this spread is that, you know, we get this card that pops out, the five of cups. There's a certain complication I'm feeling to what's going on. And I feel that it is a deep undercurrent of something emotional, something that was really embedded in your identity, okay? So when we're looking, right, this, this could even potentially be seeing these two cards together, right? It's like you were standing tall in the face of something that happened and you really got over what happened here. You see, in your in your in your distant past. So there was a sense of revival, okay, of perspective. That's what I'm getting, a revival of perspective, because this is really sort of like a person card, right? This is somewhat symbolic of one person, right? Of an identity, of a personality. So the archetype of the emperor, right, is one who, the emperor is still kind of young, right? He's not like a king. He's still kind of an emperor. He's a fire energy. He's, um, he can be somewhat domineering, right? Um, but nevertheless, right, he has control and he has power over his domain. He's stable. So with these two cards, they both speak of stability because this is in reverse. So it's kind of like stability was regained. The swords that once punctured you, right, or caused you some sort of heartbreak um, are now falling out. So... It seems like this was a situation, right? Where you were strong. You redefined who you were in a certain situation, okay? And you followed through with really stepping away from this heartbreak, okay? So there's definitely a strength, a strength in this past that you were moving on from, okay? So moving up into the crowning energy, the energy that you really took on was the, daughter, was the Daughter of Pentacles, right? And when you see this Daughter of Pentacles looking over in the direction of this Three of Swords and Emperor card, right? Looking back to the past, it's almost as if, again, it's this, it's this feeling of replacing the energy that once was, right? On looking, looking over at the past and saying, hey, here I am now in this new situation where I have an optimistic outlook and I'm starting new in a certain phase of my life, okay? There, there are elements here of um, a sense of starting anew, of starting anew. Daughter of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Ace is a very fresh, new energy. The Four of Swords, there is this, this baby lamb, right? There is this vulnerability, this youthfulness, okay, to whatever is going on. There is even a youthfulness here with the fox, right? Kind of curled up on the ground. So there is an outlook that you're taking towards something. And not just an outlook in terms of your mental state, but really in terms of the... Let me see if it is recording because I heard it. No, oh, perfect. Okay. Even in terms of the actual steps you're taking forward, right, in regards to this new perspective. So there was a shift, there was a jump, 
of a, of a newfound focus in terms of um, what you want to work on tangibly in your life, setting new goals and actually going for them in a more mature way, okay? So there is a grounding energy that you stepped into. Now, with the Ace of Wands, really stepping into this Daughter of Pentacles energy, right? This reorientation of your focus now led you to this Ace of Wands um, position, right? And looking at this card, right? It's bright. It's new. The Ace of Wands is like the first step that's taken, the first actual step the fire, the passion, the creativity, the movement forward, right? Wand, fire energy, okay? The fire element. Signifying the sign of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, yourself. So really stepping into your element here, okay? Really stepping into your element here. Again, a feeling of revival of passion, a revival of purpose, a revival of um, efforts, okay? And one that it seems really came about because of your past, right? With this Daughter of Pentacles looking back at the past, it's like this needed to happen, right? In order for this new phase to take place. So it seems that you've really stepped into the Ace of Wands energy, okay? And it is upside down, but I'm sensing it as sort of the um, looking up, right, at the Daughter of Pentacles, okay? Looking up at the Daughter of Pentacles. But perhaps, right, the Ace of Wands upside down could also signify a sort of delay, right, with the first action forward, right? Upside down, it's like it's looking over and it's looking up at the Daughter of Pentacles, sort of like anticipating, waiting. Tell me when, tell me when to go. That's the sort of feeling that I'm getting here. So you're ready for this in a way, right? Mentally, right? You're ready for this. You want this new beginning. You want to take the first step with whatever you're doing here in terms of your career and job and finances or grounding yourself in some sort of way, but it's not ready yet in a way, right? When it's upside down, it's, um, it needs time. And perhaps that's what the temperance card popped out for, it's that sort of reminder of waiting for things to um, naturally come about, okay? Then you have the, the Nine of Pentacles, right next to the Ace of Wands here. And this is your Helper Hinder card. This is your uh, Advice card, really, right? And so it's upside down, just like the Ace of Wands. So I'm really reading them as being related to one another, right? In terms of what they're referencing here. Um, and so if if we're working with the notion that the reversed ace of wands is sort of a delay right with taking that first step with moving forward then the nine of pentacles in reverse right is sort of also like perhaps the expectation right that or the desire for this to come about. Because nine is like almost culminating. It's one step before the 10. It's one step before being completed and finished and ready, right? So it seems that you're really trying to start something new. It seems that you're really 
um, eager to take that first step, right? And really start building something, culminating something. But perhaps it's just not ready yet. It's not quite there. It's not at the nine of pentacles yet, right? You want to create. You want to um, reap the benefits, right? You want to finish what you start. And you want to see it come to fruition in a tangible way, right? But there is waiting to be had with it, it seems here, okay? And so in the near future, you have the Mother of Pentacles, okay? So you have these two Pentacles cards right next to each other. Mother of Pentacles being the highest pentacles suit in the deck even more so than the daughter of pentacles which is still a fairly high sorry about that guys um okay the mother of pentacles is the highest suit right of pentacles it's the strongest most mature form of pentacles it's earthing it's grounding it's nurturing right um very much connected to nature very much um you know you've not only harvested these 10 pentacles you're now you've moved into really embodying that progress that you've made that tangible progress you've made okay that's what this card customarily represents as the mother of pentacles you do have it reversed, right? So you have three reversals um, together at the base of your reading, okay? Sort of the foundation of your spread is this, in a way, waiting on something, okay? I'm reading this as waiting on something, right? The delay of progress. And I'm seeing this, right, as almost sort of like a behind the scenes, right? Under, under as being the base, underneath it all, there is sort of this mental preparation, this strategic um, moving forward. There is still movement, right? These cards are increasing. You're going from an Ace of Wands, which is the, the action towards it, to the Nine of Pentacles, which is the actual reaping of rewards in some way, to the Mother of Pentacles, which is the highest form of pentacles so there is an increasing of energy but they're upside down which is sort of saying that they are they are in a way um ready and they are happening and they are being prepared and they this energy is growing and something is the progress is being made there is a flow, there is forward movement, but in a way that's not shown yet. In a way that is um, not outwardly expressed yet, okay? It's still the underpinnings that are being worked. It's still behind the scenes, okay? Then you have, uh, well, actually here, let's go right here into, oops, I think this was here and that was there, yeah, okay. Daughter of Swords, um, as your, as your Hopes or Fears card. So this is the first sword that we see after the Three of Swords in your past, the reversal of the Three of Swords in your in your recent past. So this is a much more mature energy, right? Of the sword element, of the air element, of our intellectual faculties, of our reasoning, of our um, sense of um, logicking through something, right? Our mental analysis, right? It's almost as if 
again, there's this step up, there's a sense of progress and movement from this sort of situation of a three of swords to one that is in a way more solitary, more solemn, more um, focused, and not really emotionally wrought and entangled in and um, involved in, right? This is a more solitary card. The Daughter of Swords is um, sitting perched upon this sword and she's alone, right? And there are these twinkling lights behind her. So there is a sense of maturity that's taking place. This also, you, you know, considering that you have the Daughter of Pentacles, right? So you have two daughters. So it seems that a transformation of your being, right, is taking place. And let me get back to this energy here once we look at the thematic cards at play. Because just because you have these three, all three sword cards, okay? So I have a feeling that it is somewhat related to the outlook that you're taking here now. And let me get back to this card as well. So going up top to your environmental energies card, you have the Four of Swords. Okay. So in a way, there is this sense of triangulation of swords energy in your recent past, in your environmental energies, and in your hopes or your fears. Okay. So there is this connection to the past in some kind of way, perhaps. Okay, there is a um, there is a connection, and yet there is a progress, like we said, a sense of maturity. And yet a sense of vulnerability as well, with the youthfulness of this lamb. However, on the lamb's forehead, right, you see this sun that's just radiating. It's like a beam of light, hope, optimism. That's really how I see the energy, right, at the bottom part of this card. And I see it really in connection to this Ace of Wands color profile and the way that the light beams are just... Um, shining from the light of this wand. So I'm sensing, right, that perhaps there will be a difficult conversation maybe related to your past, maybe. But one that you're going to remain hopeful through, one that you're going to remain positive and optimistic through, right? With the sun beaming on the forehead of the lamb, it's sort of like, He's not, he doesn't see the swords. He's not concerned about the swords. He's not freaking out. He has a little bit of a smile on his face. He is consumed by his optimism, right? He's in a way focused on what's ahead of him, but he is waiting. If you look at the lamb, he's sitting on the ground and he's waiting, right? It's almost like he knows that this is, the sun is coming, right? But he is, um, sitting on the ground and waiting for the time to get up and go. And he, I'm reading this card in this particular situation, right? In this particular spread. 
and position as not being bothered with these four of wands. Sorry, four of swords. Not being bothered. Mm -mm. Not being phased. That's what I'm getting. Not being phased, okay? By this sort of energy. There's really a... Um, a sense of overcoming, right? The sword's energy. That's that's what I'm getting. An overcoming of, especially as it might relate to your past, right? Potential heartbreak. Really a getting over of something. And replacing it with the optimism of a new beginning. Something that you're taking action towards, right? And a maturity. A newfound maturity with which you, have, you approach the... Um, the situation right of the air element of the way that you communicate of the way that you uh, reason through things the way that you analyze things right the way you think your thinking patterns seems to be mature more mature right as the reversal of the three of swords and the four of swords where you're going from a three to a four that's movement and progress forward, right? So this is your environment. I'm really seeing that this is you and your environment, okay? Even if these four swords exist, you're not being bothered with them. Mm -mm. Not being bothered with them, not focusing on them. Focusing on this. He's kind of like sitting at the top of these three cards, right? This is what he's sitting over. These lie at the base of his, of his, um, of what he's concerned about, even in a way, right? And even this card, right? If you look at the Daughter of Pentacles, she's sort of standing atop this mound that we don't see. It's just a white mound. But below it, right? This is the energy that fed into these three cards. Below it is are these um, three very fertile... Uh, cards of ambition, drive, movement forward, tangible um, rewards, right? Producing, producing, creating, creating, culmination, okay? Groundedness. And these are on the ground. They're earth, earth sign elements. And they form the base of your spread. So there is sort of a groundedness, right? And this lamb is laying on the ground, a groundedness, something beneath the surface that's waiting to come forward. Okay, a working on your groundedness that's not yet seen, right? And this lamb has a smirk on his face. He's kind of like he knows something, right? But he's sort of just laying there, right? Acting like everything's all right with the sun beaming on his forehead and a little smile, you know, He's just chill, right? And so he has in his mind, he's focused on bringing about this new day, this new beginning and newfound stability and project, whatever you're working on, okay? Bringing it to fruition and out of the dark, okay? So really I'm seeing this as now considering this card, seeing this as your hope okay of handling this swords energy with newfound maturity and progress okay and so it's a new way of handling yourself in the intellectual realm right in the in the conversational realm in the way you communicate and handle the analysis of thoughts right something that you let bother you before in the three of swords in the four of swords no longer bothers you right you have another focus here and with the daughter of swords as well right a focus on taking a very mature approach towards it and these two cards the animals on these cards are looking in the same direction right so there is sort of this 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 situation right is feeding into the approach that you're going to take towards it that's how it seems 
standing tall this is the face you're showing others right being in command of the way you communicate and handle a situation um in terms of your clarity right of thinking and speaking and and everything you are taking very much a um i want to say grounded logical approach one that is in a way, has in the back of his mind, right? Because it's kind of coming from this card. One that has in the back of his mind what he's working on or she's working on. What lies beneath it. He knows what's cooking underneath. Okay? The optimism and the hope. The hope. See this rainbow on the Daughter of Pentacles speaking very much to sort of the revival from from whatever this situation was right the rainbow the hope the whole card isn't colorful and um, bursting and fruitful right it's sort of the beginning right again standing on this white mound the beginning of what lies beneath it so hope and optimism towards something that is coming about that is being worked towards and progressed but in maybe a more quiet way right and taking an intellectually mature approach towards it so now let's move into the most likely potential outcome and the energetic uh um pathway that you're sort of moving into and you have the Ten of Wands um, re in reverse. Okay. So going from this Ace of Wands to this Ten of Wands, I'm seeing this, right? And they're both in reverse. I'm seeing this as a lot of time being spent working on something behind the scenes a lot of time but not yet coming to fruition right you have the mother of pentacles right upside down and you have the ten of wands upside down this is action this is uh, materialization of something right pentacles wands earth fire so these two upside down one over the other this is your near future card the mother of pentacles this is your the energy that you're moving into, really the energy that you are expelling and putting out, you're putting out a 10 of wands, you're putting out the highest um, number form, right, of the element of energy, okay, but I'm reading it as it's not quite ready yet still, okay, a lot of action and effort is being put out towards it but it's not yet ready to be manifested in in the public way right in the way that is open to the world and when we look at these two cards right these these three cards together in contrast to these three cards right this is abundance this is creation this is uh being really the alchemist and the creator right just even progressionally, you're going from a one to a nine to a mother. I mean, it's the ultimate creation, okay? And so, and they're, they're beneath the surface, okay? So there is preparation. When you look at these three cards together, you have sort of a quietness about whatever is being prepared whatever is going on right on the outside right it seems that you're just sitting there dandy or you're just standing there dandy and you know looking off into the distance somewhere but really underneath the surface this is what's going on lots of preparation okay because these two cards are very much a contrast right energetically you're giving out 10 of wands you're putting out a lot of effort towards the situation okay and really taking on the approach of the daughter of pentacles right a very a rather serious um um focus right 
and direction in which you want to go and move forward. Okay. So there is a culmination of efforts. That's what I'm feeling. Culmination of efforts, right? There is growth. There is growth. But just not being actualized yet. Okay, so a continuation of efforts. And I think that's really speaking to the temperance card that popped out while I was shuffling before on cam. So having the patience, the temperance, the sustenance, right? To really keep this going. Um, and I believe you do have it, right? With this, you're really giving a lot of efforts. And maintaining your cool. In spite of whatever you may be, you may be faced with or reminded of. Um, so... Now, let's take a look here at these three cards that popped out. Or actually, not that popped out, but form the sort of, um, the sort of theme of the reading, right? You have the Seven of Swords in reverse at the top. You then have the Ten of Swords right side up, and you have the Mother of Swords in reverse, right? So sandwiched, they're all Swords cards, all air energy. Um, I'm reading this as sort of petty, petty energy, right? But a culmination, right? Just an absolute excess overload of mental energy, okay? 10 is the culminating number, right? But still, nonetheless, a finality to the situation. Okay, the culmination of the sword's energy. So, and when you have this seven of swords in reverse, the swords are pointed towards the 10. Okay, moving on, again, a sense of progress. Progress from the seven of swords to the 10 of swords. A completion of this cycle of this petty swords energy, it being the number swords. And then going into the Mother of Swords. The Mother of Swords, right, is the base of it. it, is sort of the thing that's holding it up. It's the sense of progression, okay? So the Mother of Swords, again, right, it's like this, this progress, right? You went from the Three of Swords into the Daughter of Swords, right? You went to the daughter of pentacles to the nine of pentacles to the mother of pentacles you went from the ace of wands to the ten of wands there is this sense of culminating the sense of maturing right in your in the way that you handle things okay so what maybe once ate you up alive and really um you were you were really preoccupied with right you really engaged perhaps in this in this game, this intellectual battle, right? With someone or even yourself and your mind, right? Um, really staying up at night and thinking about something in a way that maybe, you know, wasn't, uh, just really consumed you, right? The mental thoughts, right? Has now come to an end of a close, a culmination. So, and below that you have this mother of swords and she is in reverse, right? Right side up, she looks like this. When it's in reverse, right? The energy is, I'm seeing it in this particular situation as somewhat softened, right? When she's upside down, it's sort of like, she's still there, right? She's still, this is not just like a daughter of swords, right? Or a seven of swords or something else, right? It's the highest form of swords energy and it's below these two cards. So nonetheless, she's making an appearance. She's here. The energy has moved into a more mature form, but it's upside down, right? So she's maybe less direct, right? She's mature. The approach she's taking is mature and firm. This is a very firm energy, right? But she's not coming out in a way that is like with her sword right side up, ready to battle, ready to fight. It's much more subdued, okay? Nevertheless mature, but much more subdued, okay? With this Three of Swords in reverse, 
this is definitely a progression, right, of the way a situation is being handled and approached. So when you consider that, right, it's definitely the moving on from um, mental anguish. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Mental preoccupation, right? One that is not really to your greatest benefit, perhaps, right? One that really didn't serve you well to this realization of the situation, right? A very clear perspective. Swords are about clarity, right? And this is sort of like you're killed by your thoughts even that's sort of what this is right and this is sort of also the preoccupation of thoughts but in a way that is not really straightforward right this fox is lying over this one sword sort of hiding it not looking straight into the eyes of whatever he's looking at so there has been a culmination of that and then moving into the mother of swords in reverse right taking a softer approach, in a way even leaving this behind, being like, okay, I'm mature about the situation now. I see it for what it is. I see it with clarity. I'm just not gonna fight this fight, okay? And leaving this behind, this Three of Swords situation, leaving it behind, playing this role, focusing on my goals and my dreams for groundedness taking this approach, right? This is a much softer element of the swords than the mother of swords. She's like serious. She's like, I'm gonna rip you apart with my words. But hey, the approach you're taking is the daughter of swords, right? This is a much softer energy, a more youthful energy, a more um, enchanting energy, right? just a more a more positive approach to the way that thing a more gentle approach to the way that things are handled not in a direct way right okay now nevertheless right you do have this this five of cups and the five of cups popped out so um you know when we're looking at the card that popped out and we're looking at the thematic cards and we're looking at the progression that we see in terms of the past, right? The progression of swords energy, the progression of pentacles energy, um, the progression in general of your being really, right? This could be speaking to the emotional ramifications of whatever occurred in your past in terms of the sword situation, right? You've grown from it, right? You've grown from it. You're focusing on something different now, okay? But nonetheless, right, there could be a residual emotional impact that it had on you that maybe you're being reminded of. Okay. But there are there's so much going on underneath the surface. So much good. So many good things. So many fertile things that are just waiting to sprout. That I see this as sort of just a sideline effect a, a sideline of a sort of blip all right so but nonetheless right again like i said it's mercury retrograde so it could just be you know a reminder of of this situation that's speaking to the three of swords okay right saying that these that this situation is um being referred to in some way in regards to your past and there is sort of this element of past too right the daughter of pentacles is looking back right so there is this movement from past to present so the five of cups you know it kind of you know this pick this um, this card gives a sense of kind of ruminating on the past as well, right? And looking down at the lover's card in reverse as the final outcome, it's as if these are connected. Okay. 
but in the sense, you know, even maybe not, even in the sense of the lovers, right? The lovers is associated with the water energy, right? Love, okay? Sort of like the two of cups, right? Ultimate bliss, emotional satisfaction, completion, stability, emotional stability. Okay, and a major one because it is the lover's card. It is a major arcana. So this is significant energy, right? It is in your final outcome. However, it is in reverse. So again, if we're looking at all of these cards, right? We're looking at Ace of Wands to the lovers, right? And we're looking at also this culminating Ten of Wands. You have a lot of reversals here, right? A anticipation, an anticipation of, um, of a culmination of some sort, of a groundedness, of a fertileness, of a happiness, right? Of a coming together in some way. And this could be in, also in regards to your career. Okay, but nonetheless, a groundedness that you're waiting on, right? Moving from this five of cups to this two of lovers, right? You're you're in a way waiting for it, right? You're you're waiting to make this progression from the five of cups of somewhat sorrow, ruminating on the past, right? To the dawn of a new day and the refreshment, the revival of your emotional outlook and life. But even so, right? It's there, it's coming about, ready to fly almost, but not quite, right? Not quite, right? But you're waiting on it. You know, you you do want it. You're anticipating it, but even in quiet, perhaps, right? Even in quiet. Again, the quietness of these cards, the waiting, the patience, the waiting with these reversals. Okay? But nonetheless, maintaining this very firm outlook of... Uh, hopefulness, maturity, direction, right? Sincere efforts towards something progress. This is still as your final outcome. So it's, it's on its way. That's what I'm getting right with it right set up. It's on its way. It's looking at these things. These things will lead to these things. Right? But It's not ready yet, okay? Waiting on the emotional satisfaction, waiting, waiting, knowing that it is gonna come about, having the hopefulness, but um, also knowing that it takes time and understanding that and being okay with that, right? So there is a sense of complacency, but temperance, temperance is the name of the game. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that this five of cups is just, you know, it's looking down here at this, at this lover's card to sort of say, you know, that it refers to whatever this situation is that's coming about, that's growing, that's brewing, that's waiting to be unleashed, um, really has to do with your emotional satisfaction. And so this final outcome, right, is, is like the, whatever you're working on is going to lead to this emotional satisfaction, right? Okay, so awesome, guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you and was helpful in some sort of way. Um, please do let me know in the comments. Um, how it did resonate um, and how you guys are doing. I really appreciate all the comments you guys leave. I read them each and every one and I, um, I, I, I really appreciate it tremendously.
So thanks for sharing. And um, I will be back probably within the next few weeks um, to do a mid-month reading. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys then.